Hi, I'm AJ Piscor, Combustion Control Specialist for Lessman Instrument Company, and today we're going to talk about the Slate Enunciator Module. So the Enunciator Module uh, acts similar to the legacy Honeywell product, the S7830. You would hook up in between all of your interlocks and your interlock string, another wire tying back to the Enunciator. And that's represented here by the terminals 6 through 19. So you actually have 14 different points that you can incorporate into the Enunciator. Uh, at each terminal, if it's, if it's on and it has power, that terminal is illuminated. So this gives you a little bit uh, of a quick reference as to what interlock may have shut you down. Uh, but this enunciator module is fully programmable and can display custom messages on the user display. And we'll show you that a little bit later in the video. The enunciator module can be configured as a single string, or if you have multiple fuels, or if you're doing gas and oil firing, you can have this enunciator have a split string. So depending upon which fuel is selected, it would take a different path to prove that your analogs are, are made. When you set up the slate modules or you make any changes to the modules, you'll see this warning message pop up. And this is just a reminder to let the designer know that these parameters that we're setting for the burner control module and all the other modules have serious implications on the overall safety of the system. Um, the designer needs to make sure that uh, they're setting up the slate system uh, in a safe manner and a manner that is compliant with the codes for that particular application. To configure the enunciator module, in the slate tool, I recommend using the enunciator module wizard. It makes setting up the enunciator very easy. Here I've already set up an enunciator for the slate demo unit that I have. I have five different interlocks, high gas, low gas, low water cutoff, airflow switch, and high temperature limit. So these are the five interlocks that are on my interlock string that I want to uh, be able to troubleshoot in the event that I lose one of my interlocks. You want to make sure that you enable with first out event logging. This will allow you to identify which of the interlocks shut you down uh, before you reset your burner module. You also want to make sure that you're triggering the right burner control module if you have multiple modules uh, on your slate system. You want to make sure you select the right module number and then you also want to make sure that this is controlling the power to your interlock string on your burner. You can go here and edit the enunciator text. This will allow you to create the custom messages, um, not only for all the different terminals, but also uh, a diagnostic text. I put on here interlocks proven when all of mine are on. So on our burner control status screen, we see that an interlock glitch was detected and it caused a hard lockout of our burner control module. So if we go back to the main menu and select the enunciator module page, we can get some detailed information on what actually caused us to shut down. We see here that the first out status was airflow switch. So the airflow switch is ultimately what cut us out. The current status is high gas pressure switch. So once we verify that the high gas pressure switch is made, We'll re-energize that back up only to find out now that the low gas pressure switch isn't made. We'll bring that back. Now our low water cutoff is not made, so we turn that back on. Now it's saying that our airflow switch is not made, so we turn that back on. It'll go cycle quickly through the high temperature limit. Once it checks to make sure that everything's okay there, then we get our interlocks proven message and we get a green light on our final terminal. Once we reset the burner control module, then that first out status will disappear. If you have any more questions about the enunciator module, you can reach me at the contact information below. There's also information on some of the other slate modules there as well. And thanks for watching.